Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to discuss about the common source amplifier topology with triode load. So in previous videos, uh, the series of this common source amplifier we have discussed uh, with the various loads or I think the, for the for three different loads here. And in this video, I'm going to use here the triode load. So basically the question is, what is the triode load? So, uh, so when this M2 device, that was previously acting as a current source that was previously acting as a load and that was previously acting as an active load also. Now it is going to act as a triode load. So when this is uh, acting in deep triode region, so when this is acting in deep triode region, uh, yeah, deep triode region, so this is your VB voltage and this VB voltage that is small voltage so that this M2 device is acting uh, in uh, deep triode region. So for this uh, M2 device, this is the uh, directly resistance uh, that the M2 device is going to offer. That is a R on two. So this resistance value is calculated by this uh, expression of uh, the M2 transistor current equation in triode region or in the deep triode region. So simply this uh, resistance can be calculated as like this ID. 2 is equal to and the mu n c u x w i f 2 second transistor or here not a mu n it is a mu p okay so mu p c u x w i l of 2 second transistor and v s g uh, v s g minus v t h p and uh, okay and it is a linear region so this uh, term is going to v s t minus v s t square by 2 so in deep triode region, this uh, VSD is very, very smaller than this VSG minus VTHP. So this is a very small. And if we differentiate this expression like uh, del ID2 with del VSD, then this uh, 1Y R on 2 is going to occur. And from this particular thing, we can calculate this R on 2. So R on 2 is nothing but an on resistance. Actually, R on 2 means on resistance. So when this M is working in deep triode region, because this M2 is working in deep triode region, this R not or R on 2 is going to come into the picture. Okay. So th this is the actually the output characteristics of a transistor M2. So this M2 is acting in this region. So for output uh, characteristics if this is your vst or vds simply and this is your id current here so this is the characteristics so uh, but yes so uh, for the initial stage we can see that uh, the this input is that is small not as a vst here so input is very small here as the input is small so i can say here this uh, m2 is acting in the deep triode region so after this point we know that this is a saturation region but and this is the linear region and uh, near to the origin it is a deep triode region so this uh, resistance is going to use here for the amplification or can again gain calculation of this input device m1 so now why triode load now the point is why we are using the triode load what was the problem with the previous things and uh, what the advantage of the triode load so basically uh, i have here mentioned a few points here a MOS device operating in the deep triode region behaves as a resistor and can therefore serve as a load. So this is a very common point that yes, in deep triode region, a MOS transistor, the second transistor, the M2 transistor can act as a resistor, which can be used as a load. So this is a very uh, common point here. But the second point is here, gate of M2 is biased at sufficiently low voltage. So this is the advantage. With a very low voltage, with a very low voltage, uh, we can... Uh, use or we can uh, uh, we can use this transistor M2 as a load because at the lower voltage only lower gate voltage is only this M2 will work in the triode region or in the deep triode region and its resistance value is going to be utilized in gain calculation. So the M2 is in triode region for the all voltage swings. Uh, uh, yeah, so the, the sufficiently low voltages at the gate of M2 is enough to keep it in uh, in triode region for all voltage swings so this is a small voltage and with this small voltage we can uh, yeah we can 
obtain our need. And that is a gain calculation here. So uh, the third point is here is uh, there, why we are using this uh, crowd loan. So third point is that the headroom voltage requirement of this uh, this particular topology is lesser than the diode connected load and other loads uh, where we use the PMOS device. In a, yeah, in a diode connected loads and uh, can say current source loads or we can say the current source loads we have used as an M2 transistor there and for the M2 transistor there we have seen that the maximum voltage swing was like uh, maximum voltage swing was like uh, VDD minus so uh, 1 over drive less for this current source and uh, VDD minus VTHP for the diode connected load. So this uh, particular uh, thing is for uh, uh, output voltage, uh, maximum output voltage is a VDD minus uh, 1 over drive voltage of second transistor. This thing I have mentioned in previous video of um, rail to rail voltage swing and headroom voltage. And uh, for the diode connected loads, your maximum output voltage is nothing but a VDD minus VTHP. So overall, we can see that uh, for the triode load, our maximum output is very close to the, uh, very close to the, we can say, uh, supply voltage. So this is the advantageous thing that how your uh, output close to the uh, supply voltage. So if your output is uh, more close to the supply voltage, then we have less headroom requirement. So actually headroom is nothing but a supply voltage that is a VDD minus V out max. V out max. So if your V out max is nothing but very close to the VDD, so this headroom requirement is almost negligible. So this is the main advantage of this triode load. So this advantage, this advantage is also same for this um, RD uh, load also, I means simple resistor load also. But with the resistor load, uh, but, uh, yeah, but, but with resistor load, we were suffering like with the problem of implementation of this resistor. So the advantage of headroom voltage is similar for this resistor load and triode load. But triode loads is dominating because we are using here the MOS transistor instead of simple resistor. So overall, we can see that this is the advantage of triode load and uh, minimum possible value of uh, gate voltage can be used uh, to utilize this M2 transistor as a resistor. So now the limitation. So we can see that the resistor R on. Yeah, we can see here. We can see here the resistor, resistor R on is nothing but a function of mu on COX and VTHP and these two values mu on COX and VTHP are nothing but a function of temperature and process variations. So these two values are going to be affected by the process variation and temperature variations. So this thing is directly going to reflect uh, on R0 oh sorry R02 and this R02 is nothing but providing you the gain because the gain is nothing but a minus gm1 r01 parallel with r0 r02 so overall it is r02 because r02 is smaller than the r01 so overall this is the gain so this is your gain expression gm1 it is approximately equal to r02 it is approximately equal to not exactly okay so yes as uh, these uh, mu and cox and vthp are nothing but a function of temperature directly because they are going to affect by the process variations and uh, due to that we can see that um, this gain is going to affected by this process variation and temperature variations and second limitation is that uh, generating precise value of uh, the biasing voltage bb is uh, additional complexity because this bb the limitation or you can say this bb uh, cannot be directly created from somewhere but it is uh, created by some additional circuitry here so this additional circuitry, which is creating your VB here, the small voltage, uh, uh, the small voltage, uh, biasing voltage, and needed uh, some additional complexity, additional circuitry here. So these are two limitations. And later, I will talk about the common source amplifier with source degeneration. Until now, I am simply varying the loads. Uh, previously, I started with the register load, then diode connected load, the after uh, current source load, the after active load, and in this particular thing, the triode load. And so these are the advantages and limitations of triode load. So I think this is enough for this video. Uh, thank you.